So uh, there, there's been new Mario news, uh, so that's why we're back with this one. <laughs> yep, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> that's right, Chris Pratt is voicing Cloud in Final Fantasy VII Remake Episode 2. You guys all set? Time to get some IDs. I would okay. not try Street to get a fake ID me, from so someone who close. also looks 17. So now, where are we headed? To pick up your IDs. There's no way to get topside without him, but I thought DJ was getting our high Ds. What happened with that? He is, but those are different. It takes more than one ID, or even two, to survive in this town. Don't forget, Midgar was built by Shinra for Shinra. Those tyrants! At least while we're in Shinra territory. Whoa. What's the story of that lady thinking about, why is this cosplay child growling? <laughs> So, Yuffie, what do you think of the Undercity? Way too crowded, I can't stand it. Ugh, the stench! How can anyone live here? I gotta agree with you about the smell, but you get used to it quick enough. And the crowds stop bothering you eventually. The place can grow on you if you give it a chance. Uh, wait a second. Are you actually saying you like it here? I thought you hated it. Midgar isn't the enemy. Shinra is. I know W's don't really see the distinction, but... We do. Then um, what was that stuff on the news? About a reactor blowing up and all. No way, that was an accident. It had to be Avalanche. Shh. Sorry. Uh, what's up? Those guys there are from the Splinter Cell. Splinter Cell? They used to be with Avalanche, but left after a policy dispute. Hmm. Wow, look who it is. Loving your work. So how many reactors is that now? Uh, wait. Where's Cloud? We lost him. You what? He will be okay though, right? Well, of course he will. A little fall ain't gonna stop a hard ass like It's him. only a mile down to the bottom. He'll come swaggering <laughs> back before long. You mark my words. Yeah, I guess he will. Now, can we talk about President Shithead? Spouting all that crap about I us. didn't vote that for President Shit, and I bitch. voted for for crap sack. <laughs> uh, my, yes, my favorite episode of South Park. <laughs> Speaking of sons of bitches, I heard that Walmart's very own Don Corneo has his stooges out looking for you. Huh? Is that so? Don't got time for no low-level mobsters. We got Shinra in our sights. They're the high-level mobsters. <laughs> Makes you Tifa. think. You and I both know this is far from over. Right? Might as well get some rest while we still can. Right. Look, you're gonna get to meet some chocobos. They're gonna make you real pretty. You're gonna have a great time. Yeah. You know what? I think I am gonna look into this. I'll make sure to keep Cloud's preference for my dress in mind. Good luck out there. <laughs> oh, you think she stopped thinking about that this whole time? Come on. They're the ones who blew up the reactors. Cool. Should we say hi? No. Better not. After what they've done, you gotta assume Shinra's on their tail. Should keep our distance. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. I think Nio <laughs> and Biggs shop at the same store because they both love their cargo pockets. Oh yeah. We proudly carry Fort Cotton. What? Yeah. No, can't be close. The people in the Splinter Cell, they couldn't care less about collateral damage, long as Shinra goes down. Or so Rainbow Six. <laughs> Sounds good to me. We're not out to blow Midgar up or tear it down. We want to save it from Shinra. Look around. Nine out of ten of the people living here are innocent bystanders. We can't level their home to take down one company. What, what are you going to do? Boycott Shinra? Home. They make and everything. <laughs> yeah. I what are so. your options? Yeah, I'm surprised you agreed to work with us. We're just doing what we think is necessary to build a brighter future. That's all there is to it. In other words, you're working with us so we don't work with your old buddies, knowing what would happen if we did. Uh, can we table this for later, maybe? Not sure now's the best time for heavy topics. Yeah. Like, it sounds like 
The Pantheta mainline Deal. avalanche is just going to do a, a big letter writing campaign. Fine. Yeah. What exactly does this ultimate materia do? I'm guessing you have big plans for it. Like after we steal it? Well, the more materia you have, they're the they're going to start are, applying right? for jobs so, so that they can change the Shinra from within materia? very slowly. <laughs> Incremental change. I guess you will. <laughs> Pretty much all jobs are with Shinra, so it shouldn't be too hard. And not yeah. just that. By sneaking into Shinra HQ and snatching their most prized possession from under their noses, not only will we deal a massive blow to their morale, but we'll prove to them that while Wu Tai might be down, we're not out. That the gist of it, boss? It sure is. She's just so bouncy. Yeah. Changing up a couple things here. So Sonan is kind of, at the start at least, just the the aggro drawing, like, tank, like, defensive character. That's what all mm -hmm. of his, the, the stuff he comes with, like, helps him out with. But uh, I'm giving him some magic materia hooked up with the synergy materia, because, uh, yeah, with the PS5 release, they, they changed how the synergy materia works, so now it costs no MP or ATB, so anytime you do an action, it's just a free magic cast. Hey! <laughs> See that one? <laughs> well, hello there, hot stuff. How'd you like a shot at the big time? <laughs> With those looks, I guarantee you're golden. <laughs> so what do you say? Ready to be queen of the Undercity? Hey! What am I? Chopped liver? So Don Corneo does have a too young concept. <laughs> You'd be living and working in the most luxurious residence in all of You want Walmart. me to be one of Corneo's brides, is that it? Which makes you a person of influence, right? Oh, so you know your stuff. But I'd say I'm more of a helping hand. So why don't you help me help you? <laughs> Let's get going. What are you doing? Get your hands <laughs> off me! Now don't go playing hard. <laughs> 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 Know any kids who can do that? No, you don't, because I'm an adult. <laughs> also, I'm pretty hot stuff myself. Thank you very much. <laughs> sure. Yeah, beat up these guys Whatever till they you say you're sexy. <laughs> but if you want to pull up a seat at the grown ups <laughs> table, be my guest. <laughs> Got excited yeah. for nothing. Yes, we get yet another Happy Turtle remix for this single fight. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> so yeah, Sonon's got the uh, that synergy materia up, but uh, on top of having like the fire and elemental and jutsu on, the 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 ability to synergize here you know that also changes your basic combos uh so even whatever you can do sonon can also do when you're synergized so uh -huh. if you start air comboing people he also just appears in the air with you juggling them <laughs> and it is a nice guy yeah it's great no one messes with me he's like every manager's dream you know <laughs> with the program team player always on board the only employee who ninja teleports to be there on time <sighs> hey at least you try you're gonna eat those words you smug piece of shit tell me i'm pretty boss you're not gonna believe this the hottie of the century just fell right into our lap she did <laughs> goods under the hood junk in the trunk and down for a bumpy ride Somebody had a Sorry, lot of fun ladies. animating that bit. And after careful consideration, <laughs> we've decided to go with a more qualified applicant. Let's go! See you around! <laughs> okay... It's... it's okay. It's so okay, bud. It's okay. Anyway? Don go play your board stashed. games, you'll find You're out when you're older. Just yep. about anything to get unsuspecting girls back to the Don's mansion. I thought it looked seedy. 
Guess you'd have to be a scumbag to build a place like that. Oh ho! And how do you know what it looks like? Tifa got uh, very quickly accepted as an applicant because she sent them her demo reel from that time with the Italian Senate. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first episode we're recording yeah, after that happened, here. by the way. Now we just have to wait. <laughs> wait for who? Not sure. We used to have someone who could make fake IDs in house, but they went off with the splinter cell. We've never dealt with this particular vendor before. It's the cat. <gasps> what it's if it Chadley. was the cat? <laughs> what if it was the cat? Hey, uh, what's up with that guy? Mako poisoning. That's what happens if you don't make the grade as a soldier. Or when the military's done using you. Just another one of Shinra's victims. Them again? Oh, Shinra's so gonna get it. If it's Shinra, uh -huh. you've got beef uh -huh. with her. You'll be needing these. Can't access the plate with Oh, what if it was like the Angel of the Slums? Oh uh, yeah. Or 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 Kyrie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're gonna scan for those things on the train, so make sure to keep them on you. Strangely enough, it was actually Thank Johnny's you. dad. Hey, hold up. <laughs> it's it's just a guy who tries to sell his mixtape on the train. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah! Foreigners and their weak jaws. We should probably head back and wait for Gigia. <laughs> Enjoy your material while you still can, Shinra. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, boss. Business casual, <laughs> Yuffie. We can't just go strolling up to the front gates. We're gonna need Avalanche to help us bypass security before we can do anything. Aww. <sighs> So, something fun I learned about recently regarding the production of this game and the DLC. So there's like a big book that yeah. came out that's full of concept art and like production notes for the game. Mm -hmm. When they were working on modeling all uh, the main cast and the, the villains and all of that, to make sure that they were like getting the clothes and the outfits right, they actually like sewed actual outfits and like had models <laughs> wear them so they could see how the, the clothes would actually like rest on a human body. Mm -hmm. So there's just a bunch of pictures of like all of the, the costumes they sewed together and it's pretty neat. They even made Rufus's really ridiculous pant trench coat. That's a thing you can actually actually physically sew and it <laughs> it's not non Euclidean. Okay, Alright. So so it's not one of those shapes that only exists as a as a mathematical construct. Yeah. Uh, also, when we were beating, we beat up those Don Cornado lackeys earlier. One of them dropped his Chthonian armlet uh, in the Ooh. description. This is an armlet that has bonus like effects if you wear a certain accessory along with it. Uh, we don't and have those yet. And a lot of materia slots, so it's, it's oh, pretty yeah. good on its own. Yeah, but this is like a new mechanic only introduced in the DLC of like certain pieces of equipment having extra effects if you have another piece of equipment on as well. I'm curious if they'll do more with that in the next uh, game, which apparently <laughs> is supposed to be announced later this year. They straight up said so, so, hmm. Well, then, isn't it announced? That sounds like an yes. announcement. That isn't <laughs> an announce, but just saying it exists, it'll be shown. We also have this Kindred Cord. Uh, Whoever is wearing this, they use up less ATB gauge when you do, like, uh, synergized attacks together. actually mechanically beneficial friendship bracelet. Yeah. Nice. It's very good. Um, but yeah, there, there's certain materials that are always good to have on Sonon since you can't directly control him. He doesn't have the, the faster ATB growth like manually controlled characters do. So something mm -hmm. like the stat fast block where he gets bonus ATB for blocking is really good since the AI is just really good at blocking. <laughs> <laughs> On top of going through that book and seeing like the all those outfits they put together I also found out like there's a I haven't read the whole thing yet but there's like a design document in that book of just what of the big cut scenario where you're supposed to play as Tifa, like getting ready 
to, uh, you know, mm-hmm. uh, go see Don Corneo and all that. It was the supposed mascara to be a mini game. Oh yeah, very in depth. It was supposed to be very heavily based around Tifa and Jesse. Oh yeah. Uh, what? Hmm. Huh. What's this about? <laughs> Change of plans. Go to the pillar. We'll explain there. Hurry. Gigi. Huh? Change of plans? The S7 pillar? Otherwise known as the roof of the slums. Follow me, guys. Why don't you Why get in any fights? <laughs> what do you do? What There's do you something do? in those pockets. Oh, you me, you got a gun? Is it a gun? <laughs> You like living in the fast lane, huh? Is it yeah, two guns? <laughs> I'm a rare bloom. More like a mutant. Ooh, I'm so gonna use that. Hey, almost there. Hey, that's DJ. You're right. Hold up. Uh, hey, I'm talking to you. Answer me. Well, uh, uh, look, a Moogle. Mm-hmm. The classic trick. <laughs> Everybody loves Moogles. They gotta see. Moogles you trick. Go after Gigi. I'll head back and tell the others what happened. That way. Boss, we might not be back for a while. Best to stock up before leaving. Do you have any idea what Gigi actually did? Whatever it was, he probably did it for us. Well, now I feel bad. No time for that, boss. Right. While there is definitely some asset reuse in the DLC, there are also some completely brand new dungeons dungeons in this. Like this whole area that was always just locked off in the main game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. New staff for Sonon here. This is the, the like, offense-based one. And yeah, Sonon continues to get new abilities throughout the game too, despite the fact that you can't manually control him. It looks pretty heavy. It's good for Bonkin. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, a lot of the abilities that uh, Sonon gets throughout the game are, like, the game's solution to giving you more control over an AI-controlled character, because all of his abilities are just kind of... Not all, but several of his abilities are just ways to, like, change his AI behavior. Mm-mm-mm. mm like this new staff comes with an ability that uh, just makes him more aggro. <laughs> it's like, would Red 13 have been a more engaging experience if yeah. you know, these solutions had uh, been made before yeah. the base game came out? Yeah, if, if Red 13 worked like this, I would have been very happy with that. It's definitely still a lot more work, but... Like, he still had abilities he was using. Tell us what you know. mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, there was stuff we could have, you know, <laughs> commanded him to do. How about later? I'm not stupid. <sighs> hey! After him! Oh! Talk about fast! Is he one of us? We don't have time to get into that, boss. You can ask him yourself once he's safe. Come on. Those guys have guns. <laughs> the, the two Shinra troops who really don't want to shoot a random citizen. They're, they're the only ones yeah. in the whole city. We got Brit. I'll give you that. Piece of shit. He's toying with us. They're also very fast. Yeah. Some kind of factory or something? It reminds me of a place I passed through when I first got here. And if it's anything like that, it'll be crawling with monsters. Yeah, going going through that book I mentioned earlier, I haven't mm-hmm. gotten to it yet, but there is a page that's showing off a bunch of concept art for Chadley, and I noticed many paragraphs written about Chadley, so I'm excited <laughs> to see what they had to say there. Because, like, some characters, like, fucking President Shinra had, like, one sentence about them. But Chadley, well, yeah. he's got, like, three paragraphs. 
which one is more important to the story? Exactly. And be honest. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, Sonan's new ability here from this weapon is fighting spirit. Uh, this causes him to lock on and attack whatever enemy you target here. Mm -hmm. And it also increases his attack power until that enemy dies. But yeah, this is just a way to basically tell Sonan, like, hey, focus on that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And along with the fact that his attack power increases, his basic melee combo also gets extended, like he can do air juggles with it now. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's fighting spirit is like a no-brainer, like just use that at the start of a battle. <laughs> the best. The best there ever was. That's the spirit boss. Whoa, good job. You solved a puzzle. I solved a puzzle. It is very funny, though, to see that since this is a, this is a PS5 exclusive where, you know, PS5 can load assets way faster, there are no press and hold the triangle button levers yeah. anywhere in this. They, they just don't exist anymore. Nice one. Bring it on. Oh, yeah. Also, this is the section of the DLC where we just get a lot of jazz. There's a lot of jazz <laughs> coming up for the next episode or two. You think she thinks people think she's a Moogle? <laughs> How effective does she believe this costume to be? I think she thinks it's pretty effective. <laughs> like, this is the least suspicious looking outfit to her. We also picked up another uh, Fort Condor game piece. This is a sweeper. Ah. It's the most powerful ranged unit in the game, but it's also the most expensive mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, to summon. But I still really want physical, like, little actual physical figures of these game pieces. I would get several of these. <laughs> I, some of these look like you could just make them in, in like paper crafts. Oh yeah, too much difficulty. Yeah, totally. <laughs> since we last recorded, or since we recorded the last episode, the PC version of Final Fantasy VII Remake also came out. Mm -hmm. uh, sadly, it's a little jank kind of stuttering doesn't perform as well as it does on console, strangely enough. Mm -hmm. But it does introduce modding, which is real yes. great. Yes. I'm sure everyone has very interesting outfits. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of the usual types of mods you see uh, when when it, a mod scene first emerges, which is like the really easy just like texture mods, probably the, some of the simplest stuff you can do. So there's a lot of just like Cloud or Tifa just looking kind of goth. They just have all black outfits, <laughs> stuff like that. Obviously, plenty of nude mods already. Mm -hmm. This is like one of the first things that happened. There's some inc really incredible things, though, like turning Cloud into Sonic Man from Sonic 2006. Yes. Uh, which is yes. dope. One of the best mods I've seen so far. As long as Barrett is also Alberto Robert. <laughs> God! Yes, we need, a, we need a complimentary Alberto Robert <laughs> mod. Please, please. Yeah, some other interesting mods include uh, one where Ch Chadley and Sephiroth get, like, head swapped. Yes. So Sephiroth is just in Chadley's body for the whole game, which is very funny looking. I love it. <laughs> That's a really good one. There's also, oh, I can't remember her name right now. There's a, a lady I follow on YouTube who is like a professional, like, 3D modeler and, and rigger and all that. And she does like mm -hmm. deep dives into assets ripped from video games to see how they were made. She's been doing a bunch of the, like the main characters from, from this game for a little while now. And it turns out that all of the heads of the main cast and villains have like the exact same like level like amount of triangles or something like that which makes it huh. really easy for like 
texture skinning because all of the eyes and mouths on the textures yeah. go in the same spot. But that also means that you can very easily swap one character's face texture onto another's head, and it looks correct but weird. And there's an <laughs> example where she swapped out... She put Sephiroth's face on Barrett's head, and it looked oh. right, but it was just the most Chad-looking Sephiroth I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. But yeah, I'll, I'll I'll put her YouTube in like the link of the or, or link it in the description for this video because she they're actually pretty good deep dives. They're they're really interesting <laughs> if you've ever been interested in how like that type of stuff is made. Oh yeah, she can just push buttons. Yeah, just push the button. Just push them. Hey, you think Naya's all right? She's a local, remember? She'll be fine. You know, she's actually pretty cool. She got me an extended warranty for for twenty percent off. I just kind of assumed no one in Avalanche could be trusted. Like they were all the same as the ones I fought. Yeah, I can imagine. But it looks like Avalanche has changed a lot since that day, huh? Oh, Ninja. Alright, now you've done it! When this is over, you're getting it good! Enjoy your freedom while you can, GJ! I like Yuffie's voice actress a lot. She's really good for this. <laughs> I think I think that guy's getting away just fine on his own. You you can just set up another meet. He <laughs> He yeah. doesn't need you. <laughs> yeah, just find another pigeon and just send a message just like fucking just just find us Whatever's when you're done. Whatever's good for you, signed in W. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we got a new variant of the Cripche. We got like the adult ones, which mm -hmm. have even grosser looking faces than the normal Cripches. Uh, we'll oh, we'll see dear. that in a second when I, oh, dear. When I scan them here. Look at this! Whoa! Wow, look this, at you! This thing has horrible fang teeth, and behind it has another row of teeth that are human people teeth? It's very bad. I do bad. not like the way the horns move like a dog's ears. Yeah, that yep. That shouldn't happen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can steal elixirs from these things. Yeah, they probably taste real bad. Yeah. So one of the, the main gimmicks of the Horn Cripche is that it can use the uh, Rallying Cry move to summon a bunch of normal sized Cripshays, and whenever it's low on health, it will just eat them. It'll mm. cannibalize the, the smaller ones and, and heal itself that way. And yeah, using that move again just a second ago, we're uh... Like, if you just hold down the, the basic attack button, she will take a huge leap backwards while, like, shooting mm -hmm. a little puff of, of wind magic at stuff. Just really good for transitioning to the long-range magic uh, mode by throwing out your boomerang. One on one. There's even more to the boomerang throw move I haven't gotten around to yet. We'll see that, <laughs> that in later. There, there's a, a, a very... There's a lot you can do with that move. That isn't apparent from the get-go until you just think, what if? Hmm. Let's do this. Alright. I sent him to a beating. And yeah, the horn cripshay gets pressured anytime you you take out all of its uh, little guys it summons. Well, yeah, I was saving those for later. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What, I'm you gonna just, eat a dead Cripshe? You just killed its lunch. When it's dead, the blood isn't hot. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's Ooh. basically already started decomposing the instant it dies. And yeah. that is nasty. <laughs> huh. 
Gotta keep my coat supple. <laughs> <laughs> I got a new weapon for you if you hear the Steel Reaper. Mmm. Uh. We're going out in the steel fields. So now Yuffie just has a glaive. Ooh! <laughs> Playing Beyblades out here. Yeah. The ability that comes with the Steel Reaper is kind of a complicated one. It's an ability that can have a lot of optional setup to make it stronger. But yeah, this is, out of all of Yuffie's weapons, the one that's most based around the attack stat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's got some of the usual like passive upgrades as well like you can increase the amount of AP stuff slotted into it gets you can it also has the thievery ability so you can just have the the mug ability without having to slot in any materia uh, this one yeah, yeah, yeah. has a passive where if you do a perfect block on an attack she will just get the regen buff cast on her for free hey. uh, pretty nice Still very curious how they're going to balance Yuffie for the next game, considering she's incredibly good <laughs> at everything <laughs> for the most part. Well, they'll just make her really annoying, so, mm. so people don't want to put her in the party. Right. All, all of her, like, combat barks which is awful. <laughs> just awful. Yeah, and they trigger 100% of the time, yep. <laughs> yep. That's how you bounce her out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm just very curious because there's so many extra new character interactions being introduced in the remake that I really want to know, and especially with Yuffie just being not an optional character now, unlike the original, I just want to know how she's going to interact with all the main cast, and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I really feel like Barrett will like her a lot. He will just go into <laughs> dad mode around Yuffie, I think. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, and we have... Uh, the Horn Cryptshay here dropped the Gozu Drive, which is one of the two accessories that work yes. with that, that armlet we picked up earlier. So uh, the Gozu Drive, if you have the Chthonian amlet, armlet also uh, equipped, uh, it increases your attack power based on how much HP you currently have. Mm -hmm -hmm. Oh, looks like our ticket across. <laughs> Ten four. Be there as soon as we can. Unit three says they've got the, the gate they were guarding the is maintenance. wide open, though. <laughs> what? Pillar maintenance? How'd they let him get that? Well, if I know. Come on. It's our two co workers who don't want to shoot anybody. <laughs> it's like the main perk of the job. Yeah. <laughs> So it's pretty good. It's a pretty good weapon. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. So yeah, the new ability we get with this weapon is called Banishment. Uh, there's this a whole is... other thing on that thing. Yep. There's, it's got there's dots. A, there's a whole extra mechanic here. Banishment is like a big magic-based explosion, kind of short range, and it's it's fine on its own when you're fighting normal enemies. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I would call that fine. That is. It's fine. fine. So we'll see the mechanic in a later fight, but basically the gimmick of this new move is that the more ATB moves you use before you use Banishment, the more powerful it gets. Well, that sucks. Why did tailing people have to be so hard? You gotta learn to think before you act, boss. You're gonna get yourself killed one of these days. Hmm. Sure, whatever. Now, how do we find GG at? I've got an idea about that, but let's get to a vantage point first. Now, I, I believed that the that the boomerang would take care of all these switches as as shown. But this new new weapon you've got should be chopping these switches in half. <laughs> yeah. Alright. See that massive structure up ahead? That's the pillar those troopers were talking about. Assuming the maintenance facility's still there, we should probably head toward it. Sound good? Yeah, works for me. Come on. Gotcha! I really want to know 
Like, what made them settle on jazz? I don't mind. I like jazzy <laughs> soundtracks a lot. Love Cowboy Bebop. But is there just a time when composers on video games just go, you know what? It's been a long fucking time since there's been any jazz. <laughs> There's no other thematic things I gotta cover for this area. This is gonna become the jazz zone. Like there's there's just one supervisor in in like the, the... oh goodness, look at him go. Right. Oh my word. <laughs> yeah, the the basic attack combo when they're synergized is an infinite. At the end, is just them zipping back and forth like that forever. <laughs> as long as you keep mashing that button. Oh yeah, there, there's just like one sergeant in the guard post here who loves jazz. Oh, okay. And so being, if, if you want them off your back, you, you, you make sure to have this radio station playing. <laughs> so hidden in this corner is Assassin Board 3 for Fort Condor. This is one of the best boards in the game. It can just kind of carry you through almost all of the remaining matches in the game. There's one mm -hmm. or two where a different board is kind of better than the assassin board, but it's and there's a poison really needle hidden in the bottom. Ooh. Ah. Yeah, that's how you do it. <laughs> you were distracted by playing the game until you died, and then I win by forfeit. Yep, just sending you to the shadow realm. <laughs> that's what I call the morgue. <laughs> yep. This is very poorly lit. That's why it's called that. <laughs> it's just. Most of the bulbs are out. Mercy. Mercy. Budget cuts. It's always budget cuts. Yep. Lights are the first thing to go. Very expensive uh, bulbs because everything runs on soul juice. <laughs> they, they have to use the same bulbs that they use to, like, uh, uh, imitate the sun for the slums. <laughs> yeah. Frankly, I'm glad it's out. It, it was cooking all the bodies. <laughs> And by the way, like, while Sonon has an ability that's specifically just for filling up the stagger gauge, Yuffie doesn't have a move that does that at all. Um, but there's another really good way of filling up the stagger gauge if Sonon doesn't have enough ATB for his move. And that's just mm. uh, the basic synergized combo uh, fills up the stagger gauge like crazy if stuff is pressured. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see one of the little diamonds there for banishment yes. is filled up now that I use an ATB gauge for a different move. Um, and also it's called Icy Banishment because uh, the element of this move also changes based on which ninjutsu you just used. Ah. She's just a flowchart in shorts, is, is what <laughs> Yuffie is. Yup. <laughs> And so yeah, Yuffie is uh, powered up like banishment enough that we have, uh, if we take a look at it in the menu, mm -hmm. we'll just see that there's like a little symbol there now. We have like, ah. we've stocked it up enough that it is transformed to a level two banishment ability. If you fill up all six diamonds, it upgrades from level two to level three, the strongest version. Uh, mm -hmm. Which is just kind of like a mini nuke. <laughs> it can do <laughs> it can do an ass load of damage, especially if it's set to whatever elemental weakness an enemy has. So like, so the the change only happens at those stages. It's not like zero, one, and two charges are exactly the same thing. It's it's all the same. Right. Yeah. It's just okay. level one, two, or three. <laughs> It'd be fun if it was a little more incremental. Mm -hmm. But I, I get it, I guess. Yeah. Ugh, I just want to get this over with. Yeah, there's an example of if Yuffie gets hit by an attack that knocks her back, Sonon will frequently teleport right behind her to grab her so that she doesn't <laughs> fall over. Sonon is the real hero of this DLC. <laughs> yeah. Need the backup. You cold? Uh. Uh. Best friends. Best friends. Yeah. Wow. 
overreact a little more. They're still working on it. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. Decent friends. Oh. Yay. Yay. A good, a decent working relationship, at least. Hey, about what you said earlier. Which was? About Avalanche, how it's changed. Oh, that. These people are too soft. But those Splinter Cell guys? They sound like the ones we should have teamed up with, don't you think? Yeah. I heard one of them really likes cats. <laughs> I feel bad for complaining, considering all they've done for us. I know what you mean, though. They're all just really good people, huh? And that's the problem. Midgar doesn't need good people. <laughs> Not that we care what happens to it. Oh. Sanan, did you feel a little weird having this kind of heavy conversation while the Shinra guard blasts his jazz over us? <laughs> <laughs> I hate it when a Shinra guard blasts his jazz over me. <laughs> it's a very powerful attack. Lots of status effects. <laughs> and then Tifa has to go take a shower. Yep. Uh, <laughs> that reminds me, there's another mod that's... It's basically just a model swap mod, but it, it works out really well. Uh, in that, uh, there's, there, there's a replacement mod where you just swap out Tifa for Jesse, so she's playable as Tifa. Ah, uh -huh, uh -huh. But the mod went and did extra work to replace as many VO lines as they could so that characters refer to Tifa as Jesse. <laughs> I'm very curious what? how that sounds. It's got to sound like 80 yard and not right, <laughs> but that's an impressive amount of effort. Look at you scramble up there. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Look, oh, good job. <laughs> gotcha. She's basically a puppy. Yeah. She's a puppy. Mm -hmm. The closest Look thing we that. got to stamp. <laughs> that book I mentioned earlier also just has a full page of stamp concept art and like production notes about stamp stamp is important stamp is more important to this game than president shinra yeah he is all he does is die who cares mm -hmm. yeah and he's got like one or two decent skull face esque monologues which is all i ask it's all and, i need i mean so all of the work you really need uh, uh, aside from, you know, some extra visual development, is in the original game. Chadley's yeah. new. Stamp is new. You're, you're starting from scratch on those guys. Yep. I'm gonna try and get through the rest of that book for the next episode, because I know there's some other really interesting stuff there about, like, the cut content and... Uh, really just, man... Yuffie has great animations. Absolutely. Uncharted 5, here it is, right oh, here. Yep. Yeah, basically. I keep debating if I should watch the Uncharted movie. <laughs> I don't know.